Hi there people, just thought I'd show you my method of storing my Lego in this drawer all my white bits various white Lego elements next one down is all my grey bits and elements and anything grey, light grey, dark grey, all in that one all black elements roof tiles it's in one of these storage containers you can get in any department store sorry about that folks, battery decided to die in the camera where were we? let's start up here I think in this tray some hinged elements got several trays along the top here with various hinge elements in and that's the last tray in here with it textured brick elements Tenor elements, medium dish elements, large dish elements, modified brick with claw elements, corner elements, bracket elements, various printed bricks with computer screens, telephones and whatnots on them. Can't remember the name of these ones. Or these ones. Uh, this one's just one by two tile elements. Some really long two by elements. Real elements in the top few drawers. Some mixed one by two elements. Various one by one circular bricks. White ones, grey ones, red ones. Mixed uh, roller door elements, and blue glass roller door elements there, door elements, some window elements, some more window elements. Blue bricks, plants and flower elements, some other mixed coloured elements, one by three elements, plates, one by four plates, fences and bars and stuff all shapes and sizes most of my transparent brick elements turn the light on some tubs full of blue 2x4 and larger bricks in blue green and grey in that one Red brick in that one, yellow, black, white. These drawers here have got my various little elements in. Modified plates with hooks.
here in the top drawer. We've got all various shapes of plates and things. Next one down, I've got two by six plates and bigger. Next drawer down is one by six plates and bigger. This one is two by twos and bigger. And then we have printed bricks and bricks with stickers on, all shapes and sizes. A drawer full of Technic, all sorts of Technic bits. A drawer full of all sorts of red elements. How well this is coming out because I'm too short. Yellow elements. And that top one has axles and other elements of similar type. And we have small wheels and tires. And we have medium sized wheels and tires. Large wheels and tires. Here, we've got red plates. Whoops. Light and dark grey plates. Black plates. White plates. Blue plates. And just mods and sods in here, electric boxes, 9 volt boxes, a motor, some brick separators, some various shaped bricks, mini figure parts and accessories, and there's hats, helmets. Legs, torsos, all sorts in there. Other bits and bobs, boulders, motorbikes, horse, shark, crocodile, or alligator, cabinets and cupboards, and similar. Sorry about that, folks. Memory card was full. I need a bigger memory card. Anyway. One by one plates modified with claw or hook, whatever you want to call it. Um, same again in that one with a vertical claw. Antenna type things. One by one round studs. One by one plates square. Slopes. These are quite hard to open at times. No, it's going to be too hard. There's one by two plates with a modified with a bar. A one by one studs with hook on top. One by one studs with modified with a bracket on the side. Modified at one by two bricks and one by one bricks. Ladders and grills. Spigots and taps. Levers, just about see them there. Next one down is one by one cones, minifig tools, brooms, 
shovels and these are drilling there, there's all sorts in there. Various grill elements in this one, sorted by colour. 1x2 modified brick with bar. Might be able to just see them through the front there. Uh, it's in this one, I can't remember. Yep. Nice picture of my arm. Right, it's modified plate with a bar. And down the bottom here is these modified types of plate. With a little sort of lip down one side. And there's my tub of minifigures. You see in this one these are all one by one bricks. Windows in that tub, tub of doors underneath, my pile of various base plates and road plates, tub of various vehicle type windows, and all in these tubs down on this shelf is all a one by one brick, sort of by colour, it's grey. A mix of green and brown and tan, red, and so on. And lastly, up here. twos and one by one printed elements and some have stickers this one's the two by two printed and stickered elements various elements in here bars and things Lightsaber handle down there, all little fiddly little bits like that I've put in this tub. One by four and longer, printed and stickered elements, and I can see one that's not actually supposed to be in there. Went down there. Thought well, I pulled all them out. Never mind, do that later. One by one transparent round studs, the lights as I like to call them. Just one by one square transparent studs. Sloped ones. I don't use very often. One by twos and fours. And some other assorted smaller transparent elements. There's flame elements, water elements, uh, transparent antennas. Various bits like that and that one. This column of drawers is all my one by two plates. I've still got to get some more of these drawers so I can separate some out. Grey ones, black, white, uh, some more hinge elements. And the tiles. One by two tiles. One by eight tiles. Sorry, that's one by two tiles. And one by six tiles. One by four tiles and other various shape tiles. So 
circular and two by fours. Okay, finally, I have four cases. I've got this one. These are one by two bricks with the groove on the side. The roller doors in white and red. I've got all these various bracket type elements. I've seen these commonly used on Lego cars. And these, these modified one by two by two elements. These one by four modified bricks with studs on the side. And these taller brick elements for the groove in for roller doors. That's the blue case. Down there for a minute. The lovely pink one. And here, got the steering wheel elements. One by one modified bricks with a stud on the side. These are various uh, sloped elements in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Some more bracket elements. and seat elements. That's all that's in that one. And then this one is all my technical cases. I'll open it up for a better view. All my various technical elements this is a double-sided case. A handy case for small elements. That's that side. And the other side. All the connecting rods. And other various bits. I'm more of a city builder than a Technic builder, but Technic's always useful to keep. A view with the lid open. And finally, I have one more case. Not sure what you'd call these elements. Sorts of very small elements. This could be fiddly to open on one hand. There we go. More small elements. Two by two discs. Towing elements. Or ball joint elements. Ball and socket elements. Pocket section parts. Other various bits and bobs. Vehicle doors. Uh, most of these containers were picked up from DIY stores.